Great grind day, great grind day. Welcome to your vitamin G conversations with Kendall. Yo, I love playing chess. I, I think I learned how to play years ago. We used to play in the shop and I love playing chess. But I remember when I was younger, I used to love playing checkers. I was a bad boy in checkers, you know, but I'm looking at the two games and the two games are real different. The checkers, I ain't really have to think that much. Checkers, I could just make moves. I love to do the double dump, the double jump, so forth and so on. With chess, I had to, this, and this was a crazy thing. I had to learn, and it don't matter who you are, you gotta learn what each piece does. Every move, because every piece on the chessboard makes a different move. Your pawns only go forward, maybe I think to the side, right? Your, your knights can only go certain ways. Your rook only goes a certain way. Your king can only make one move, but your queen, your queen, she can do anything she wants. I just think about that for a minute. The queen can do, ladies, don't take that the wrong way. Think you can just do anything you want to do. But the queen can make any move that she want to make. And so I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about it, chess or checkers. And you hear people talk about it all the time, like this is this is chess, is chess not checkers. You got to be calculated. And when you're playing chess, you got to think. And you're making calculated moves. Like you're thinking ahead, two, three, four moves ahead of your opponent. And it's the same thing with life, right? You can't play checkers in life because if you're just playing checkers and there's a lot of average people out here playing checkers when you're playing checkers with life that means you just got out there all willy-nilly just doing stuff and you ain't getting no results like you ain't you putting you putting checker pieces on the board and you moving them but at no point are you getting a double jump and into the back joint there and you getting kinged up you ain't getting no kings and that's why it's difficult for people to get from where they are to where they want to be because you making chess like moves with a checker mentality I'm gonna say that again. You can't make chess-like moves with a checker mentality. You gotta elevate your mind, you gotta elevate your game, and most importantly, you gotta elevate your grind. I need you to start making chess-like moves. You gotta start thinking like a tactician. You gotta start thinking like you playing chess. And you need to know what every piece on the board can move. You need to know what every piece, you got pawns that make moves for you. You got rooks and knights that make moves for you. And you gotta know in your circle what kind of moves everybody in your circle can make. You gotta know that every time a problem comes that you gotta move you can make. And you can't make, I said this before, you can't make permanent decisions over temporary problems. So let me give you an example. While I'm playing chess sometimes, a piece will come in front of my, my king or in a, in a position where my king, and they'll say check, and that means you about to get hit. Now most people when they in check, they'll fold because you weak and you playing checkers men mentally. But when you playing chess, you looking and you like, I'm in check, but I got a move I can make. I can move. And see, some people say, if I can't win it, I don't want to be in it. And what I'm saying to you is, stay in the game long enough to keep playing. Because if there's still time on the clock, you got an opportunity to win. But you quitting. And most of us, we keep looking at the scoreboard and we ain't focused on the game. And I need you to focus on the game at hand. When you get put in check, there's a move you can make. Make a move. There's always another move you can make. If you living, you breathing, you looking at this video, you got a move to make. I just want you to stop making chess-like moves with a checker mentality. I want you to stop making permanent decisions over temporary problems. You can do it, but you got to think, right? You got to elevate your game, you got to elevate your mind, and you got to elevate your grind. Y'all have a great grind day. We'll talk soon.